Welcome Agile friends. My name is Dini Alamaki and I'm hosting this session with our amazing speaker, Jason Tanner. Uh, in this session, we'll learn about building sustainable, profitable businesses, a blueprint for long-term success. Welcome, Jason Tanner. Hi, thank you for having me. There are also other sessions in the Product Owners Summit uh, 2024 that touch on this topic, so don't miss those. For example, we have Oana Shruku will have session on chaos gateway to innovation. Check out the other sessions at the productownersummit.org. But now it's time to focus on our guest speaker and our topic of, for this session. Uh, so Jason, uh, you come here to talk about uh, sustainability, uh, sustainability as well as profitability. Uh, but sustainability, especially, is such an important topic nowadays in in many of the areas. So, uh, and since we are here today to talk about product ownership, and especially on this track about product growth. I'm very curious to hear how sustainability is connected to product ownership. Uh, could you start briefly by explaining this? Sure. When we started to write the book, and it turns out it was really over two and a half years ago, we recognized the need to ensure that the software solutions that people are building actually are generating enough profit to be sustainable. And in many ways, this contributes to uh, a vibrant society, sustainable businesses, growth. And once companies achieve a level of profitability, it can then begin giving back to the community. So the, the core concept really is this notion of the solution that we're building actually does generate a virtuous cycle. And that's the the essence that we create a, create a relationship with our customers where they are receiving as much value as possible for what they're willing to pay for the solution. And that we have created a model where the exchange of value and the money that we're receiving as a business is sufficient for us to continue investing in ongoing solution development or creating new solutions or taking those profits and reallocating them for the benefit of society. So, there's a, a deep connection here, I believe, to a lot of the sustainability principles uh, that we researched when we when we started thinking about the world of sustainability. We dug in deep and looked at some of the UN's work on sustainability and how this contributes to the idea of advancing humanity with a sustainable planet. And what does that mean from the context of a software enabled solution? Am I able to afford the opportunities for making investments that are more green? Can I create carbon offsets or pay for carbon offsets with the profits that I'm making? All of that I think is interrelated here at the core essence of what is the relationship that we're creating with our customer that creates this cycle of value exchange where we just continually deliver more and more value, exchange uh, the, the appropriate uh, money through how we choose to price the solution and generate a profit. So, and I know there's there's a lot of good profit and bad profit. The profit is used to advance all the stakeholders and shareholders and uh, disregard the employees. That's not the profitability we're talking about. We're talking about the healthy profitability that powers and fuels businesses to grow, adapt, and continue to be agile. I think there's a relationship here as well with agility. That makes much sense. Uh, and so far, it, it seems like it's not only about, like you said, it's not only about uh, creating that more money to the investors. It's it's about building healthy businesses and, and growing companies. So, so some sort of a future as well. So I see that. Uh, but somehow I was, I'm still a bit more curious, like how these uh, profits, uh, what we are talking about and sustainability are connected. So what, what can we do to, for the profit to support sustainability and the vice versa. So we really need to look at this entire concept as a model that is based on the system and the ideas of systems thinking absolutely apply. So I want to take the one example of, of how we can start thinking about the system of choices that we make about our business model and the solution that we're building. And this is what's 
really the role of product owners as they lead the development and evolution of their product. So we start with the customer and a customer that uh, 